Joe Squad Trey here with Ghost Tactical at my home range, Cleburne County Shooting Club here in Heber Springs, Arkansas. Today, we're going to go over a, a, a few things that a lot of people have said and asked me over the years of what are some basic problems with shooters. We look at targets every day and they, they have nice tight groupings, but they might be low left, they might be high right, they might be wherever, and we're going to discuss some typical things that could cause you to miss in certain places. So I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, what we're going to do is discuss uh, this target right here. And what we've done is we've gone ahead and shot four little groupings in areas that are typically where most shooters, if they're going to miss, they're going to miss here. We're going to start with the upper left. And what this one right here shows is most of the time if you're missing high left or high right I'm not gonna say all the time but most of the time if you're missing high what that tells me is that you're anticipating the recoil you're anticipating pulling that trigger and you know it's gonna jump on you a little bit so you typically will have to manage your recoil and, and understand that your trigger finger should almost surprise you when it goes so most of the time for this one and that one most of the time if you're missing high that typically means that you're anticipating the recoil of the firearm so if you're missing here or here what you should try to do honestly is try to relax don't try to anticipate yourself pulling that trigger the trigger pull and the firing of that gun should almost surprise you now, when we start talking here, the low left, this is typically um, a, a miss that a lot of shooters will have. It's usually one of two things. What usually causes this miss right here, guys, is you tighten your fingers on your grip right before you pull the trigger. And what that does is that pulls the muzzle. You know, if you're practicing at home dry firing, go ahead and tighten your fingers as, high, as tight as you can and you'll notice that muzzle going low left. So what that means is you need to relax a little bit. You want to have equal pressure between your the back of the, the, the gun with your palm and your fingers on the front of the gun. You want to have equal pressure as much as possible. The other thing that could cause a low left, and it usually would probably be more down here, but this also could be, you know, you're slapping or jerking the, the trigger. Um, and what that means is you're not getting a straight pull trigger back. You're, you're slapping it a little bit, kind of getting lazy with your trigger discipline. So we want to make sure that we're, we're triggering with the right part of our finger and we're pulling it straight back. Do not just slap at it and do not go quickly with it. But that typically are the two reasons why you would miss low left. Like I said, the main reason is typically you're, you're tightening your fingers around the front of the grip before you pull the trigger. As far as this area right here, missing low right. Now, we discussed missing low left that you were you're probably tightening your fingers around the front of the grip. To miss it low right, it's gonna be the opposite. You're probably tightening your fingers on the back side with your palm around the grip back there. And if you do that while dry firing, once again, you'll notice the muzzle kind of go low right. So once again, the quick fix for this is the same thing as over here. Relax, try to have equal pressure between your fingers, your palm, and your thumb. And obviously, we always wanna talk about having a nice, smooth trigger pull. Once again, a trigger pull can cause all four of these. If we make sure we're, we're gripping properly, the grip pressure, we're also taking our trigger and we're pulling the trigger with the correct part of our finger and it's smooth and straight back, you should see all four of these start to come towards the middle, guys. So I hope this really does help you guys in understanding what typically happens when you miss in certain positions on the target. If, uh, if you are still having problems, go ahead and leave a comment on the video below. If you have any questions, I feel free to uh, send a video of what you're doing and what you're shooting and let me know what's going on and I'll be more than happy to, to look at it, critique it, and send you back an email, maybe even a video of how you can correct these. So like I said guys, stay out there, stay positive. Just because you're having some issues with your shooting doesn't mean it's gonna continuously 
uh, go the same way. So stay out there, keep trying, keep working on your grip, on your basic fundamentals, and I promise you guys, you will get better. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informational for you. I hope it taught you some things. And now all of these are going to be correct, but typically when you're missing in a certain region, there's only a certain few things that you can do to miss in those situations. So I hope you guys have learned something. Get out there, keep shooting, be more proficient with your firearms, and we'll see you next time. Simplify. Oh, hey guys, sorry. Didn't realize the video was over. Just doing a little cleaning real quick. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, go ahead and uh, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Uh, maybe even subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. If you don't like the video, then go ahead and leave us a comment down below and tell us why you didn't. We'd love to hear your feedback. If you really like the video, then we ask you to go check out our website, www.ghosttactical.us. You can find all of our social media links. And after that, go ahead and check out a couple videos over here. Guys, thanks for watching. Simplify.